All right. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick White. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. If you want to see any of that, just uh, check the description. I have everything there. Um, I do uh, all the lead code problems, so I have a playlist, and I have almost all, not almost all of them, but I have a ton of them on my channel, so just go check that out if you like getting these explained to you. Uh, the one we're doing right now is called Binary Tree Right Side View. Um, so given a binary tree, imagine yourself standing on the right side of it. Return the values of the nodes you can see ordered from top to bottom. So you can only see the right side of a binary tree and they want all the nodes from top to bottom. So like one, three, four. Now what I didn't realize until I looked at the solution is they want, what they technically want is all of the rightmost nodes. So you're not only looking at the right side because you could be looking at the left side as long as it's the rightmost nodes. So they don't technically want the um, just the right side, they want the rightmost nodes at each level of the binary tree. Um, so just be aware of that when you implement this solution. Um, also, I looked at these solutions down here uh, for DFS and BFS. Obviously, all you have to do is traverse, um, do some kind of traversal and grab the rightmost node at each level, which uh, this like these use hash maps to do that where they measure depth we've done problems like this and then basically you just only put the a uh, right the rightmost node in if you check the hash map and at that current depth there hasn't been a node put into it yet and you recurse down the right side so you could do it that way actually what I found interestingly enough I which I think to be the best solution is this reverse level order traversal um, you're basically, this is just a cleaner solution in my opinion where you just basically have these data structures and you do a level order traversal except you visit the right node first and then the left node first and you add these nodes in and basically you have a for loop and let's implement it right here and you'll, I'll just explain it as we go. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a list of integer which is what we're returning. We'll call this result is equal to new array list and we're also going to have a queue of um, tree nodes called Q, which we do in a lot of problems, equals new linked list. Um, and then we'll do Q.offer root, like all these other problems too. If uh, root, actually first we'll do, we'll do a check if root equals null, like all these problems, uh, return result, because then we have nothing to work with here. Okay, that's fine. Now all we have to do is while uh, Q is not empty, um, then we will do a, we'll get the size of the queue. And this is basically why I think the solution is better. So you get the size of the queue. And then all we have now is a for loop. So it's basically, we're doing a level order traversal, a reverse level order traversal where we go right and then left node onto the queue. And we pop a node off each time, except we have this for loop right here, which goes from zero up until size. So while I is less than size. Um, you increment i. And then when, the only reason we do this is that so we can get the rightmost node at each level. So each level, we're going to do this for loop as we traverse. And if i is equal to zero, that means we have the rightmost node because i will be zero when we have the rightmost node because we're doing the level order traversal in reverse. Um, if i equals zero, then all we have to do is, well, first we'll pop off the current node, like list node current uh, node is equal to q dot pull not pop off but pull the current node uh, then we just do current node dot val gets added to result so result dot add current node dot val um, so we add the current node dot val to the result and then we obviously do q uh, if if the current node dot write value is not equal to null we re uh, add the write node to the q so q dot offer uh, current node dot right and same thing for the left side if current node dot left is not equal to null we offer current node dot left and then all we do at the end of this is just return result and it should work first try and then I'll explain it one last time um, Q dot poll, what's the problem here? Tree node cannot be converted into list node. Uh, sorry, tree node, you have to make sure. I, I'm getting mixed up. I'm doing all these problems, like a million problems today. So, okay, there we go. So yeah, it works, there we go. Um, 
So basically what we're doing is we're adding the right notes to the cue first. So when you add the right node and then the left node to the cue, the right node's gonna be the first to come out because a cue is like a line, you get in at the back and then the first, the first one in is the first out, FIFO, first in, first out. So you get into the cue first, the right node gets in first, so it's gonna be the first out. So we have the right node coming out first and since the right node is coming out first, the right node will be pulled first in our when we go through our for loop from the beginning of the queue size to the end of the queue size um, while the queue is not empty. So when i is zero, that means that's the rightmost node because we put the rightmost node in first. So when i is zero, we just add that value to the result. So at each level, we're doing this for loop and at each level when the i equals zero, we just add that value to the result and we have this result array at the end which just contains all of the rightmost nodes at each level. And I think that is one of the easy, most simple solutions uh, compared to breadth first, breadth first search and depth first search where you're actually having hash maps and kind of keeping track of the depth and doing get calls at each level. Uh, I like the solution a lot better. So let me know what you guys think of these solutions. Uh, what's your favorite? And I'll also link that one the, where I got this from, um, from Jayu Lee, I think, or something like that. Uh, I'm going to link this solution in the description. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you have a better solution. And thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. See you guys.